name is Scott Tessier. I'm with the HH Barnum Applications Group. Today we are going to be demonstrating how to set up the i550 ProTech from Lenza through IO Link. We're going to show you two different methods. The first method is going to be through the software where we're going to be using the USB connector located under the hood. And we're also going to show you how to program it through the faceplate as well, through the dial pack. Let's get started. You can go to Lenza.com and download the Easy Starter software. Once you have it downloaded on your computer, it also comes with Easy Navigator. Double click on Easy Navigator and open up Easy Starter. Since this is a unit that has I.O. link, we are going to be interfacing through the USB connector on board the i550 ProTech. So my connection is through the USB on board. Select USB, press insert. The device is found here in the background, and now you're up and running. Once you're in the software, there are really only two parameters that need to be set. And to do that, you're going to go to the parameters list here right in the center, and we are going to type in 400. We are looking for parameter 400 colon 037. And this is where we're going to activate network controls. We're going to go from not connected, use the drop down, and go to connected. The second parameter we need is under parameter 201. And we're going to change the frequency control, this is actually what controls the speed, from an analog input. And we're going to switch that over to network, which is number five. Once both of these parameters are set, we're going to press the save button and your i550 ProTech is ready for IO Link. From here, we're going to go into the Allen Bradley software and we're going to show how to commission the i550 ProTech to communicate with a Lumberg XSL block. The add-on instruction for the i550 can be provided from HH Barnum Company. You can call or visit our website to download the AOIs for the i550 ProTech. Now that we've imported the AOI, let's go to our Lenza Drive AOI and let's just drag it into our program. I've created a tag called AOI underscore Lenza i550. You can see here from our tag, it has an enable, the run, the reset, the speed set point, it's all in here. So from here, I want to set the run to that exact same AOI Lenza i550. Use the drop down and specify run. For the reset, same, we're going to go into the AOI Lenza i550 and we're going to use the reset. Next is the no stop, same location. And the speed set point, AOI Lenza i550 speed set point percentage. Now our drive is plugged into port one of the Lumberg XSL block. So we're gonna be using port one data from our XSL block. I'm just gonna drag it down onto the inputs and we're gonna specify port one and we're gonna be using the inputs. And then for the outputs, same thing, port one, and we're gonna be using the outputs. Okay. And the 12 bytes, we're gonna be set to zero because we're actually gonna be using six bytes of data. From here, we're ready to download. Now that it's been downloaded, let's add a couple lines of code to make this drive turn. I'm going to insert a run of code. I'm going to start with a simple bit as a start sequence. In order to start the drive, we are going to need to turn on the coil for the run, which is going to be under AOI Lenza i550 run. We're also going to need a coil for the AOI Lenza i550 no stop.
And lastly, why don't we put a move function in here so that way we can see the speed of the drive. We'll start off with a 20% move. And our destination is Lenza I-550 speed set. Let's download this. We'll see what happens. And that's how to commission an I-550 Lenza ProTac over IO Link to an Allen Bradley Ethernet IP Lumberg XSL block. So if you don't have the Easy Starter software, you can actually program the i550 ProTec from the keypad. Including all of the motor parameter data, you can also set the unit up for IO-Link by two separate set points within the parameters. And let's do that now. The first setting we need to change is in group four. It's 400 colon 037, which enables the i550 ProTec to be seen through IO-Link. Let's do that now. Press the enter button, and we're going to scroll up to group four. Press enter again. We're going to stay in group 400, and we're going to go to 37. Once we're there, we're going to press enter again, and we're going to set it to one by using the arrow key. Now you want to hold down the enter button. Now it's parameter is now saved. The next parameter we want is in 201. So we're going to go back to group two. Use the down arrows. And once you're at group two, press enter. And now we're going to go up to group 201. And we're going to press enter again. And once we're in 201, frequency control, we're going to press enter. And we're going to set it to five, which is network. We're going to press enter again. And now we're going to hold the enter button, oops, sorry. We are going to, once we set it to five, we're going to hold the enter button down. And now the parameters save. And those are the two settings in order to get your i550 ProTec running on IO Link. There are other settings like motor parameter data that you can also enter through the front keypad or through the Lenza Easy Starter software. But other than that, you're ready to go. Thank you for your time today, and if you have any questions, please feel free to call HH Barnum Company and ask for the Applications Group, and we appreciate your time. Thank you.